Hey guys, we're about to interview the top secret band flight facilities. We've tracked them down at Flight Facilities HQ. The only thing that is known about them is nothing is known. Our reports have shown there's no online traceable history or whereabouts. Let's, Let's do, do it. This. Flight facilities! Oh! Uh, who? Flight facilities? <laughs> I have no idea who you're talking about. Hi, we're Flight Facilities. And we're here with Trent and April. Tell us your real name. Frank. Uh, <laughs> Lemon Aid. Lemon Aid. Why was Frank the first? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, in all serious, guys, tell us everything. I know nothing. What he said. Oh. <laughs> These guys are good. good. These guys are good. But this, is, this isn't our first rodeo, guys, come on. All right, no, okay. Before. We're both guys. Here's a good one. Tell us how Flight Facilities came about. Uh, what was your name? Frank. I love Frank. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me different things all through it. Yeah. All right, Sean. Um, okay. Well, the name was from my grandfather. It was a um, it was a charter company like years ago, of actual planes. All that fun, and we had to get serious. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, but you know what? Even life probably couldn't tell a better lie. There was like it was an old old charter company uh, like that operated in New South Wales. So. Oh, cool. oh really? Yeah. But otherwise, in terms of us meeting, it was yeah. actually very close to where we are. Yeah, like we, Hugo used to have a job as a uh, pizza boy. I mean, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you let something I'll just slip. let too much go. Fred. Uh, yeah. Tim. Fred. <laughs> Paul. And, uh, Simon. <laughs> hey. Um, so, yeah, and that's underneath our studio. And then um, I was at the time working in another room with another guy, and then we stopped working together. And then Hugo at the perfect time, Paul at the perfect time. <laughs> He uh, came in with an idea with the logo and everything because it was already made from his uh, grandfather and and the the idea sounded pretty damn good. So, is it true that you guys started in aeronautical engineering then? And if so, what prompted the move to producing music? So there was a rumor for a while that we were like baggage handlers at, <laughs> at Virgin Sydney Atlantic? Airport. Yeah, yeah like at that. Sydney Airport. We heard yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, we heard Atlantic. something like that. Yeah. The story <laughs> grows. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Richard Branson, right? Yeah. 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 Used, to, used to holiday on his island, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is is it true? And if not, then uh, uh, <laughs> it might be no. <laughs> I would know that would give give us give our intelligence far too much credit. I think. All right, yeah, totally. all right. We'll, we'll leave it. At, we'll leave it. it, it at the story that. would. I mean, it would go so well with what we're doing. But unfortunately, I'm going to say and I'm going to pop that bubble right now. Yeah, we don't have enough time. You know, bringing out two songs a year is just. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be DJs and be aeronautical yeah, engineers. Exactly. And if we were, we'd probably be getting paid way better than yeah. DJs. And we'd be some Aww. sort of uh, you know amazing phenomenon because the the brain waves needed for those two things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you especially probably DJing, couldn't especially do DJing. both creatively. Yeah. What we do know from, from about you, from all our research, is that you toured in the US. So tell yeah. us about that. Is it different playing for a US crowd as opposed to an Aussie crowd? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, especially in this uh, day and age when um, America's just discovered uh, a style of music that most of the world's been on, on onto for a couple of years now. But yeah. it's such a great thing too, and, and being able to be a part of that too. Yeah, with that comes like the excitement of a new thing. Yeah. So it's way mm. more fun to play there, and everyone's open to like a lot oh. more different music. Yeah. Mm. When you go over there, finding that it's a, a new concept for you guys being over there, how do they uh, receive you? Do they know about you? Do they? Do you have any fans over in the states already? Yeah, I guess like everyone has a, a preferred, uh, a favoured song, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, and some people's friends, you know, obviously bring just some friends to the to the show. But you know, some people like Crave You or Foreign Language or you know, a, uh, a remix that we've done. So hopefully that they, you know, when they come to the show, they get to hear more and. You know, it's like also more. the instant access. Like nothing's ever more than a click away. Yeah. You got, yeah. Uh, a song comes out and it can be anywhere in the world, except for like North Korea. But <laughs> <laughs> you guys are huge in North Korea. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so you guys are uh, headlining uh, Triple J as their DJs, and you're chronologically ordering music for 40 years for the listeners. Yeah. Tell us all about that. We've That's actually covered yes. there this afternoon. Doing the recordings, yeah. you say about 10 things at once, and they've all got at least three syllables. So we've stuffed it up more times than we can oh, count. So many. Saying, but, saying you know, Triple J mix up exclusive <laughs> October, October flight facility, flight facility, flight facility yeah. Wow. Yeah, say, say that all 10 times right fast. Order yeah. as well. And, if you don't, and even mean, if it's written, it doesn't make it any better. It's like, you know, you got to read extra fast, you know? And then, But they, you know, piece it together and make us sound like we know what we're doing, yeah. which we definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take to research? Five months. Yeah, we've been doing it since May. I mean, yeah. it's a, I mean, it's a bit of a wanky thing to say, but it's research that we've done just through 
being in the you know, industry. For, yeah, from being in the industry. And, and it was research that, you know, we were completely interested in 100%. Mm. You know, like, it's how much easier is research when you're when really you like interested it. in it. Yeah. Going back to that whole research thing, we know how important research is. Trent and I did our research <laughs> for a very long time trying to figure nothing, out the mystery. Came with nothing. We came up with nothing. Except so, for conspiracy well, theories. Well, we did. We had conspiracy <laughs> theories. Yeah, we one, of them, <laughs> one, one of them probably is true, but, like, <laughs> yeah, I suppose one. if you put enough lies out there, people don't know what to believe. Well, exactly. it was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so why, why the secrecy? We wanted to make everything more about the music than about uh, ourselves, really. I think we tried to put that first so people would only hear it. And uh, when we started wait, out... Wait, wait, wait. These guys are way more important than what we're doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> can you do that, though? Um, uh, uh, I'd like uh, to think uh, I can because uh, most guys think they can do anything they haven't done before. Go yeah. on, like, go just on. Whoa! You kind of like, you yeah, I, could do a, I could do a backflip and a cartwheel. So why, why the secrecy? Um, we have always felt like that uh, we want our music to do the talking, for, mm -hmm. first and foremost. And, you know, we're not, we're not going to hide uh, if, if someone wants a photo or anything like that. You know, we're not too fussed about it because in this day and age, if someone wants to find something, they're going to. Um, but we just wanted, uh, do, you know, the music to be the main priority. Yeah. And, you know, we didn't want to sell anything else. It's all right, your secret's safe with me, Lemonade. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my name. And Sean, <laughs> Paul, Tim, Tim. Yeah. I've just become Tim. 12 different yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment we know that you're about to do an Australian tour and you're going to be on the Durex U Plus One Floating Festival. That's sure coming am. Up. Can you tell us what you're bringing to the party? Apart <laughs> from snacks and niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a sailor Canapes. hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, a hat that resembles a sailor hat, but it's not close quite. to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they pick the aeronautically themed things to go with the nautically themed. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of fits, but it kind of doesn't. But it's fine. We'll make it fit too. All right. Cool. <laughs> Highway flight facilities. And we were never here with Trent and April. Wait a second. Back here again. <laughs> 